Hi guys! So I wanted to do a quick, quick little video. I just received something in the mail that I had ordered, well pre-ordered, once I saw on uh, Facebook, on YouTube. I immediately pre-ordered it and I was super excited to get it and it was very, very fast. So we got ourselves the new Foiled Shadows by Makeup Geek. I pre-ordered all of the new shadows from Makeup Geek. They're all these ones right here. So it goes from here to here. I'm so excited. We'll go over them and kind of um, take a look at the colors. I'm so excited about these to do some tutorials with you. I have used a couple of the older colors because I ordered it um, on the website and I had never ordered any shadows from Makeup Geek before so I ordered all 20 all together and they do have a discounted price right now because they are brand new and they're bundling them up so there actually is 20 full foiled shadows here and then these are all the matte shadows that I have right now so I'm really excited about this whole palette um, because obviously it's a Z palette or whatever, but I'm really excited about these new shadows and doing some tutorials for you and kind of playing with them because they're beautiful colors and I think they'll look beautiful on everybody. Um, if you can't find yourself something shiny in here, there's something wrong. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at some of these shadows. I'm going to start off. What are you playing with? <laughs> He's playing with my Fitbit. <laughs> I haven't been able to find that darn thing for, as you can see, I haven't been able to find it. And now I know why, it's because he's been playing with it while I'm at work. <laughs> oh my God, that actually makes me laugh. <laughs> That's funny, okay. Well, yeah, he's, he's a handful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, okay, so let's start off with the more neutral colors and then we'll move on to some of the more pretty green and purples. So the first one that we've got here is called Starry Eyed and it looks like this. It is so pretty, you guys. It's a really gorgeous champagne color. It's got a pink undertone to it um, and it's super pigmented. Let me see if I can swatch this so you guys can see it. Oh yeah. You don't need a whole lot of product to do this. Can I just tell you, um, they are just super pigmented. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it would be great for somebody who's fair skin tone like myself, somebody who's got really olivey undertones. This would be gorgeous for you because you can actually have this kind of pop of color more on your eyelid and make it pop more. For me, um, or for people who have lighter skin, it is gonna be a little harder. You're gonna have to build up the color. But it is really, really gorgeous if you're looking for a neutral tone for um, every day. You know, just put it on the lid, put some mascara on, and you're good to go. So this will definitely be something that would be a staple for me. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> so the next one I've got on our little list here is a really pretty, oh, sorry, is a really pretty pale pink color. And again, this is something that fair skin people, all of olive tone really really darker skin tones this would look really gorgeous on for everyone and um, for lighter skin you're gonna have to build this up just a little bit but it is a really pale pink and this one is called whimsical and it's just gorgeous and let me do a swatch on the back of my hand here oh yeah that is really pretty it looks like that and you can see how reflective these foiled shadows are. They are just ridiculously pigmented. I mean, I've got glitter everywhere. <laughs> and even on my fingers, I put them on my fingers and they are not coming up. Those suckers are, are amazing. The Let's go ahead and move to the next one. It's a really gorgeous um, lavender color and it's just, oh, I can't wait to play with this one. I wish I would have had that in, or this one in my tutorial when I did that purple smoky eye. Oh, I would have loved to have this like in the inner corner. Anyways, okay, so this one is called Daydreamer. And it's so pretty, so nice to work with. Um, and it looks like that. I don't know if you can see that purple pigment. So these three are probably going to be my everyday look 
um, just to add a little bit in the inner crease or all over the lid with maybe a, a taupe color in the crease. I mean, it's just there's so many things that you can do with these. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get to kind of the more funky colors. She has made some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green colors. And I really, really am excited about this because there was a green color in the shadow, the first original 10, and that one was called Jester. That one was gorgeous to wear by itself. I've kind of played with that a little bit since I've gotten these in the mail. Um, but I have now taken on a new Leva. <laughs> And that is my um, new green favorite, and it's called Fantasy, and it looks like this. And it looks like that. This one right here. That green color. And these are sheared out just a little bit with my finger. You can imagine if you're packing it on the lid what it would look like. I mean, just shearing it out on my finger just to, or my uh, the back of my hand to kind of give you a guys an idea of what the swatches look like, it's amazing. And I'm mean, packing that on the lid, you can build up that color and it's just going to be insane. If you're looking for a wild look, it'd be perfect to do that with, or you can share them out and wear them every day. That's why I really love these shadows because they're so versatile. Um, okay, so the next one is called Charmed. And this is kind of a silvery color, but I feel like it has a green undertone to it. And it's really something that I'm gonna have to play with, I think, just to kind of get a feel for what I can use it for. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with it really quick because I've fallen in love with all the other ones. And it looks like this and it's called Charmed. Let me do a swatch here. Oh yeah. And it definitely has that green undertone to it, but it does become very, very silver and it's, Oh my goodness, that has some pigment to it because you can see how these here are, see here that these are light in color, but this one is um, just going for it. It's gorgeous. Okay, so the next one that I'm super excited about, it reminds me of Barbie for some reason. I feel like Barbie would wear this on her eyes with some pink lips and maybe I'll do a tutorial. Hmm. So many options, I'm so excited. <laughs> so this one is called Pegasus. Pegasus, oh, I love this color. I cannot wait to do a tutorial and I hope you guys like it. Um, and it's just, oh, this is so, so pretty. I mean, goodness, you don't see colors in eyeshadow that look like this and it are as pigmented, I can almost guarantee. Oh my gosh, okay. Isn't that insane? <laughs> I wish you guys could be here to play with these right now with me because I'm just obsessed and I just wanna do, like take off my makeup and redo it all over again <laughs> just to put these on my face. So, oh, okay, so we've got, let's see here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got four more. And you can see, look at my hands. Like this is crazy. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go get a wipe really quick. <laughs> um, hold on one second, let me get a wipe. I'm back. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and wipe these hands off here. The next four, I cannot say enough good things. I'm so excited to play with these and I think that they're gonna be one of those staples that you're gonna see in a lot of future videos, so get ready. Um, this one is called, so this one is called High Wire and it looks like this. It's a silvery color, but it's got more of a blue-gray undertone to it. Um, this one would be great for going out. Oh yeah, that's like a full silver. Oh my gosh. I want this to be like my hair color. Oh, wow. You, you need to see this. I want that on my head. Like I want, I want my hair to look just like this. That is insane. And you can see how reflective they are. I cannot get over it. I know that they're called foiled shadows, but seriously, like, it's crazy. Ugh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad that I ordered all 20 because I'm really glad that I ordered all 20 shadows because I have so much playing to do and I have so many tutorials coming up. I am so, so happy I have these shadows. This is called Masquerade. This is a pinky purple color. She does have another color in her collection that has more of a blue base, but this has more of a pink undertone to it. 
it is gorgeous and crazy pigmented and it looks just like it does in the pot on your hand so that's a wonderful thing let me go ahead and show you a swatch that's sheared out so you can imagine what it looks like if you're just packing that on the lid oh i love it and then we've got two more oh <laughs> these two are probably i can pretty much safely say that these two are insanely pigmented and they just have a gorgeous glow to them and if you've got brown eyes these are going to make your eyes pop i can tell you that right now so the first one is called fortune teller and it looks like this oh it's got a little bit of a green base to it but oh my god this is gold on steroids okay can we just take a moment take a deep breath before I show you this swatch because you're gonna freak out look at that shadow it's gold on steroids it is insane I love it absolutely I'll, oh god I wish I had brown eyes like really really dark brown eyes with this who you can make some ugh, your eyes will just pop uh it'll bring out the greens in your eyes it's gonna bring it all out oh it's so pretty and lastly so this one is a bronze gold color and this one is called untamed it looks like this and she said in her uh, tutorial or I'm sorry her web announcement on YouTube that it was a bronzy gold color she was not kidding it I mean between untamed and fortune teller I mean these two shadows are gonna be perfect for brown eyes they're just gonna bring everything out this one is coppery and just absolutely gorgeous and you can tell this is more like oh gosh copper gold than the actual um, gold gold and I'll show you a swatch so if you're looking for a copper eye that's your shadow right there Ugh. I can't get over it. I cannot get over the shadows. I'm so happy that I was, you know, surfing the internet and found, you know, Marlena and found Makeup Geek um, because it has changed the way I do my makeup. It has changed everything. And I mean, I, if I ever get to meet her, that would be like the best day of my life because I just... I feel like she's taught me so much without even knowing who I am. You know what I mean? Have you ever felt that way when you're watching some, one of these videos and you're like, man, they know so much and I have learned so much from that person and you don't even know them. You've never met them. They live in a whole other state, but it's, I just feel connected to her and just, I am so amazed by all the products that she's put out. I'm amazed by her ability to just do makeup and be so positive and oh I just love her to death I feel that way about Jacqueline Hill too if I ever meet her oh are you kidding we'd be like best buddies because <laughs> she is crazy and I love her outtakes can I just say love your outtakes girl keep going you're awesome <laughs> so these are the new makeup geek shadows you guys you should check this site out they've got so much stuff Everything is really affordable, and if you are on the fence, hopefully this will kind of sway you in the right direction because I have not heard anything negative about these shadows. There is a little bit of fallout, yes, but with any glitter shadow, you're gonna get that. Just be mindful of what you're doing. You don't need a whole lot of product. Those should last you a long time. They're beautiful. They'll work on any skin tone, any makeup look. I mean, they are just amazing. I hope you guys like this. Um, if you do, thumbs up this video. Place comments in the bar below because I love reading your guys' comments and writing back. It just keeps me going. You guys are amazing. Um, have a wonderful afternoon, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.